Hello yogis, welcome to our bedtime mega practice that will be a really like restorative, a slow paced sequence just to like prepare you for the good night's sleep but also to um, relax your nervous system to yeah to like release the tension any anxiety from the day and just prepare for the bed yeah so let's get started for this practice you will perhaps need some pillows so you can just make sure there are some pillows around you just in case so you can just grab them and also you can do this practice either like me i do on the floor but you can also do it in the bed so choose your option and let's get started we will actually start in the sitting position yeah so you can stay as me i'm staying here with one foot forward you can also like cross your legs so find your comfortable position here place your hands on your thighs on your knees wherever you are comfortable close your eyes get comfy Okay, so let's start to like lift your shoulders up to the ears and try to like lift as much as you can and then you will breathe out through your mouth and just allowing the shoulders, the weight of the shoulders to drop. So let's do it again. Inhale, lift your shoulders up, up, up. Exhale. Good. One more time. Inhale. And imagine you release all the tension from the day. Exhale. <sighs> Good job. Okay, so keeping your shoulders relaxed. If you just need to do like small circles, you are welcome to do so. <coughs> just get settled. And we will start with the like nice sweet neck stretch so you can just open the left arm to the side then you will bend the elbow and you will bring your arm back and you will just grab the opposite elbow so left hand grabbing the right elbow and stay here keeping your spine nice and long take a deep inhale and as you exhale, start to drop the right ear down to the right shoulder. And basically that's it. No need to push. No need to like force yourself. Just allow slowly the weight of the head to relax. Take inhale through your nose, lengthening your spine keeping that space in the chest and as you exhale dropping both shoulders down especially the left and after a few moments you will start to feel like the opening of the of the sides of the neck take your time here Just feeling your breath present. The breath is even, tranquil, without rush. So that's the first step. And the second step is to draw your chin down towards the right side of the chest. So now we start to engage the back muscles of the neck. Stay here, breathe in. Breathe out through your nose or through your mouth as you like, as you feel so. And let's stay here for a few breaths. Starting to feel the stretch. And before you move, please place the right hand just below the right cheek. 
Now relax all the weights down and you come back up to the center only using the strength of your hands. Then you slowly exhale, relaxing both arms and hands down. Just stay here for a moment, like noticing the quality of your breath. And just letting go of any judgments. Observe your breath as it is. Maybe it's short, maybe it's deep. With the sound or without. Just notice. Be receptive. From here you will go to the other side. So you start to stretch your right arm to the side, bending the elbow, and then slowly grabbing the opposite elbow. So right hand grabbing the left elbow. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, start to drop the left ear down towards your left shoulder. And you can stay wherever you are. The same principle, like letting go of forcing yourself, pushing, even pulling. Just allowing yourself to be present. Allowing your breath to be present. With each exhale, relaxing the weight of your shoulders, relaxing the weight of your head. And just noticing the opening and stretching of the right side of your neck. Stay for a few more breaths. Breathing in and out at your own pace without any rush. Just letting go of everything what happened during your day, even if it was intense or challenging. Just allow yourself to breathe everything out. Then slowly dropping the left chin, the chin down to the left side of your chest. With each exhale, relaxing the weight of your head down. And start to notice the opening here. Start to relax your face muscles, muscles around your eyes, your jaw. And before you come back to the center, place your hand, your left hand, below the left cheek. Relax all the way down and only using the strength of your hands. Slowly lift yourself up. Relax both hands. Relax the arms. Now to the sensations. If you need to move a little bit the shoulders, please do. And then you will slowly like stretch your arms forward, bending your elbows and placing the right elbow on the top of the left. Maybe your palms will like, join together or maybe they can just stay wherever it's comfortable for you. Then you can just relax a bit your and around your middle back. Slightly pressing, the right elbow is slightly pressing the left here. And notice this gentle opening in your middle back. Breathing in and out. Okay, so let's from 
From here, slowly change, maybe this time bending your elbows, opening the chest, squeezing your shoulder blades back. And then slowly coming back forward again, bending your elbows, left on the top of the right, maybe the hands are meeting. I will just go to the side so you can see from the profile the position of the middle back. So it's just a little bit rack rounding, at the same time pressing the left against the right. Maybe you can relax your forehead somewhere close to your hands. And then slowly release. Maybe this time lift your arms up. And as you exhale, again bending your elbows, opening the chest. You can stay here or if you wish, interlacing your fingers, starting to open the chest. You can stay here. You can also start to stretch your arms. And just for the moment, like feeling the expansion of your ribcage, opening of the front body, and then release. Okay, great. Let's go forward, placing the hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. You can tuck your toes under or just relax in the feet. And let's just do a few rounds, opening the chest, and then rounding your spine, pressing with your hands against the ground. Inhale, opening the chest, lifting your tailbone, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, and round, relaxing all the weight of your head. Let's do it one more time, deep inhale, open. Exhale and round. Okay. So from here, you can keep your knees as they are, below the hips, and then you can slowly start to walk your hands forward, starting to relax the chest down towards the floor. And you can place the chin on the ground, or you can place your forehead on the ground. Try to keep your hips on the top of your knees. Just feeling the movement of the breath. Relaxing slowly your upper spine. Especially your middle back here. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. You can always slightly bend your elbows to the sides if you wish. Softening your belly with each exhale. Slowly bringing the energy back to your hands, starting to place your elbows on the ground and let's slowly move to the child pose so from here placing your big toes together separating your knees to the sides sitting on your heels starting to relax your belly your chest placing your forehead And this position is like perfect to notice like if there are any tensions in your body. So if you stay in the child pose and you start to like send the breath, like notice which parts of your body are feeling good, which parts of your body don't. So maybe there is some area of your body that needs like this gentleness, opening, the presence of the breath. That's a moment to like 
Breathe deeply in, opening that space. And then slowly breathing out through your mouth, mouth. You can even like visualize that any tension, any heaviness, any stuck energy is slowly melting away. From here, starting to place your hands to somewhere below the shoulders, spreading your fingers widely, and then a vertebra by vertebra, slowly lifting your torso up, lifting the shoulders and the head. And the head is the last one. I hope you can still hear me. Let's jump to the next pose. Now we will do the forward bend. So basically here, what we will do, you will bend, in that case, let's do it starting from the right knee. You will bend the knee, you will place the foot in. Uh, the front leg can be straight, can be slightly bended. Actually, if you feel that there will be like lots of stretching, you can always place the bolster, the pillow, just to give some nice gentleness to the leg. Okay, so from here, let's just lift the arms up and keep lifting for the moment. Maybe you can like even interlace the fingers and like pressing up and just lengthening from the base of your spine, opening the left side, the right side, and the belly is facing forwards, the left thigh. And as you exhale, slowly relaxing forwards. So here you start to relax your back. Relaxing your arms. Relaxing the weight of the head. If, for example, you have block at home, you can also like use support. If you, if at any point your your head would be supported, you can always use something so the fore forehead can rest and just slowly at your own pace allow yourself to rest. Slowly allow yourself to draw your senses inwards. Slowly allow your breath to be tranquil. Also, if you notice that your mind is still drifting away, maybe still digesting some parts of the day, just acknowledge that is completely normal. That's actually the tendency of our minds uh, to like, yeah, bombarding us with thoughts again and again. So the good reminder of the yoga practice is that your breath, it's always with you. So anytime if you notice that your mind is drifting away somewhere, then take this deep, long, tranquil inhale to come back to the present moment, then slowly exhale relaxing your belly, your entire spine, shoulders, arms, fingertips. You, 
can keep your eyes closed. And then slowly, slowly, let's find the way out, the way out from the pose. Walking with your hands. Just taking the moment to feel the sensations here. stay here or if you like you can start to plant your left foot on the ground placing the right hand just behind you and as you inhale just lifting your left arm up just to give not yourself the nice stretch of the front body and as you exhale slowly slowly come back to the center and then from here we will change sides and so stretching both legs Starting to bend the left knee, placing the, placing the foot in. Again, if you need any like pillows or bolsters, you can always use them. And then lifting both arms up. Maybe again, interlacing your fingers, palms up. And taking your time to slowly stretch from side to side. Lifting from the base of the spine. And then as you exhale, separating your hands, slowly starting to round, like relaxing your back, then slightly rounding. Notice if you need any props, I will do the same. I will put the bolster below the knee. Relaxing the arms. And just taking your time here. As you notice, we stay in the pose for a longer time. So there is like enough time to go deeper into the pose. So just please be gentle with yourself. Start at the point that you can cultivate this kindness to your body and at the same time also like feeling like, like appropriate amount of sensations. Maybe in the back of the straight leg, maybe in your left groin, Maybe somewhere in the lower, middle, or upper back. Just connect with your breath again and again. After a while, maybe you notice that like you go slowly deeper into the, into the pose. So if you feel that the body like opens naturally without forcing anything, then you can go a bit deeper. Slowly starting to connect in that space between each inhale and each exhale. Like after all the day, maybe with some also like external sounds, distractions. Just notice if you feel like to connect with this inner silence and the deeper rest. few more breaths in that pose. And then slowly start to find your way out from the pose, gently, without rush, mindfully. Lifting your torso up, lifting your shoulders, your head. A 
will be staying here for the moment to integrate all the benefits from the previous pose. Or if you like, you can plant your right foot, place your left hand just behind you, and as you inhale, stretching your right arm up to open the chest, right hip flexors, belly, and then slowly, slowly relax. Just to, to integrate both sides, we'll just go to the butterfly pose for the moment, bringing the feet together, opening the knees, and you can choose the distance. So you can bring your foot, feet like closer to you, or separate a bit like diamond shape, and basically dropping your knees down to the sides, starting to slide with your forearms, and relaxing your back, taking deep inhale through your back, Slowly exhale. If you like, you can stay here. If you have a pillows close to you, you can always maybe just place them below underneath your belly, your chest. I will maybe use two bolsters here just to like relax. Maybe even turning your head to the side for a little while. Hmm. Just allowing your groins, inner thighs to relax. Taking one more deep inhale. Deep exhale. And then slowly vertebra by vertebra coming back. Up. Just relaxing the pillows to the sides. Maybe helping yourself with your hands to bring the knees back. Okay, let's go to the to the beginning of your mat, placing your feet flat, stretching your arms forward, and then rounding your back, vertebra by vertebra, relaxing all entire spine on the floor. Okay, so from here, you will draw both knees to the chest, and you will place right ankle on the top of the left thigh. Okay, then you can grab the back of the left leg, or you can even grab the shin, depending how deeply you want to go in the hip opener. Try to relax the shoulders, relaxing your hips. Remember that you can always stay a bit longer if you like. If any particular pose feels good and you want to stay a bit longer, please do so. But I will now go to the next pose. I will open the arms either like 90 degrees in the elbows or opening the arms to the sides with the palms facing down. And then I will start to place the right knee on the top of the left. From here, slowly, without rush, dropping the knees down to the left side. And if you like, you can always use the pillow, the bolster, just to maybe support your knees so the twist is gentle without pushing anything. So in that twist, start to relax both shoulders down. Relax your belly. Soften the rib cage. And start to feel the sensations of the twist in your spine. As we start to prepare for the bedtime, so the breath becomes slower and slower. Each time calmer. The nervous system starts to relax deeper. 
in actually the twist. It's a, a wonderful pause to relax the nervous system more and more. And you're slowly prepared to just activate a bit your belly, bringing your knees to the center, and then slowly relax. Maybe you just place your, fi your feet flat for the moment. Maybe just bringing both knees to the chest, maybe even offering yourself the sweet hug. Maybe even bringing your forehead to your knees. Then again, relax all the way down. And this time you will place your left ankle on the top of the right thigh, opening the left into the sides. And then you can grab the back of the thigh, you can grab the shin as you like. Here. Breathing in and breathing out. Make sure your right foot is completely relaxed here. If you want to stay longer here, you can pause the video and come back later. Otherwise, join me for the twists, opening the arms to the sides, placing your left knee on the top of the right, and slowly drawing the knees to the sides. You can use the, the pillows. In that case, as I can grab the block, which is close to me, I'll just place the block. Possibly you will experience one side slightly different than the other. And that's perfect. Just adapt your pose using all support you have. Just make this experience really comfortable and relaxing. Start to notice more and more that with each exhale, your body like starts to relax on the deeper levels. Take your time here. Whenever you are ready, you can slowly find your way out from the pose. Slowly relaxing the knees. Planting both feet on the floor. And before we go to Shavasana, you can grab, if you have the block, you can use the block. If you have the pillow, maybe it would be also comfortable. I'll just give you one variation. Placing the block just below the sacrum. That means that your lower back is without any support. And here you can start to reach your arms back. Relaxing your elbows and shoulders. So start to notice, like once you send the breath to your belly, to your chest, I invite you to pick one number here that could be maybe four, five, six, maybe even 10 or 15. So choose your number and start to count internally, like inhaling. I will give you an example of five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold for the moment. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. 
again inhale one two three four five hold here notice the opening how the belly is rising up to your chest your ribcage exhale five four three two one you can do it as many times as you like noticing how your belly relaxes more and more actually the breathing through the belly it's like deeply relaxing because all your like systems like a nervous system digestive immune etc etc et it's crossing like a little bit below the navel so breathing through that area is deep and pr profound relaxation you can stay here or if you like just to relax in shavasana for shavasana i would use the bolster just to have more support for the legs so we can also like decompress the lower back here Separating your legs widely to have a nice space for your pelvis. Opening your arms to the sides with the palms facing up. Like this nice gesture of openness of what you have given yourself during this practice. Take a deep inhale to your chest. Exhale and start to relax your right hip, right thigh, knee, shin, ankle, foot, right toes. Inhale to your heart center. Exhale, relax. Left hip, thigh, knee, shin, ankle, foot, and left toes. Inhale, heart center. Exhale, start to relax. Right shoulder. Arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, and right fingertip. Inhale to your heart center. Exhale, relax. Left shoulder, left arm, elbow, forearm wrist and left fingertip inhale to your heart center exhale relax your buttocks pelvis hips and groins inhale to your chest As you exhale, relax maybe even deeper your belly, solar plexus, diaphragm, your lungs, your heart. 